So the Nintendo Switch has been out for about seven months now. And has it improved? Has it gotten better? Has it gotten worse? Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Levon Kesa. I'm back again with another video. And today I'm going to be discussing has the Nintendo Switch gotten better in seven months? Game wise, yes, definitely game wise. As you can see, we are seeing more indie games, we are seeing some more third party games such as NBA 2K18, Skyrim, Doom, Wolfenstein 2. I mean, we are seeing some more third-party games and more games from Nintendo in general for the Nintendo Switch. But as far as it being a, a media system, as far as its online concern and stuff like that, um, it hasn't really gotten better. I mean, look. You can't even message your friends. You still can't even invite your friends to an online game, stuff like that. In fact, look, this is all you got. Profile, friends list, friend list, friend, suggest, friend suggestion, add friend, and um, user settings. That's it. As far as media features go and stuff like that, all you got is just Nico Nico still. That's all you freaking got is just Nico Nico. And all you can still do with the album is just take photos and that's it. You can't even record video on 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 the Nintendo Switch still. You can't even capture gameplay from the Nintendo Switch. You still can't do that. You can only just cap capture capture oh crap. Capture screenshots. Ooh, I just stuttered there. Capture screenshots. Pair controllers, eShop, and look at news. That's all you can do in as far as in the in the Nintendo Switch OS is concerned. And also, you can do system settings. But yeah, that's it. Like you can't, you still can't do a freaking lot with the Nintendo Switch. You still can't. You can just play games, shop for more games, take screenshots. Add people to your Nintendo friends list. And that's pretty much it. That's it. Nothing more. Nothing less. I mean, the Nintendo Switch is a hybrid, people. It's a, it's a home console and a portable console. I would like to watch Netflix on my Nintendo Switch. I would like to watch YouTube videos on my Nintendo Switch. I would like to still browse the web on the Nintendo Switch. I would still like to freaking do that type of stuff. Because that's just how I am. I'm used to seeing multimedia features on these game systems. You know, even the Wii U had Netflix, YouTube, Hulu Plus, and Amazon Prime day one. From the system launch. And you can also browse the web. On the Wii U day one as well. So. Yeah Nintendo. You need to make a big update. Or something. To add those features. Such as Netflix, Hulu. A web browser and stuff like that. You, you need to Nintendo. Because this Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch as a whole. As far as the OS level is concerned. Is still bare bones. Nothing more, nothing less. It's still bare bones. Like, you can just only play games and buy games and take screenshots. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the online, it, I mean, when you're playing online, it's it's adequate to mad best. I mean, you, can, you still can't do a lot with the online unless you got the Nintendo Switch phone app. So, yeah. So yeah, as far as the third party support on the Nintendo Switch, it's getting better to a degree. It is getting better to a degree. The ports, the third party ports that we've been getting so far have been running better than its Wii U counterparts, but, but the Wii U did get 
a lot more Main Street games in its first year than the than the Nintendo Switch. It had Call of Duty Ghosts, it had Call of Duty Black Ops 2, it had Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge, as it had Tekken Tag Tournament 2. It had freaking Assassin's Creed 3. It had Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. The Nintendo Switch, as of this year, is not getting a Call of Duty game. It is not getting an Assassin's Creed game. So, yeah. I mean, it's getting better a little bit, but not by a whole lot. It's getting, it's slowly getting better, but maybe next year, the Nintendo Switch big break as far as third party to where we can be seeing a whole bunch of third party games f as far as multiplayer is concerned from third parties. Front for next year, maybe we might see more third. Maybe we might see more third party games next year than this year. But who knows? With Nintendo fans saying, "Wait and see, wait and see, just wait and see, guys, just wait and see." There'll be more announcements along the way. Just wait and see. So, yeah, has the Nintendo Switch gotten better? In the past seven months? Yes and no. From a gaming standpoint, yes. As far as games-wise concerned, yes, it has gotten better. But as far as features and online and other stuff like that, no, it hasn't. It is still bare bones. The OS is still bare bones, people. It is still freaking bare bones. So, that's the end of my video. What did you guys think? What do you guys think of the of the Nintendo Switch as far as the past seven months? Has it gotten has it gotten better to you guys? Has it gotten worse to you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. See you guys later in peace. Rate, comment, and subscribe.